Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at using Live Listen on your iPhone. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So Live Listen allows you to use your iPhone and your AirPods or some Beats headphones and Basically it works kind of like a hearing aid. The microphone on your iPhone will be used to capture sound in the environment around you and then amplified to your AirPods so you can hear better. So check out this page at Apple's site to make sure everything you've got is compatible. It says here you need iOS or iPadOS 14.3 or newer although it did work on earlier versions of iOS. Then you need any AirPods. The regular old AirPods the AirPods Pro or AirPods Max. And it also works with a couple of Beats products as well. The idea here is that you put your AirPods in and then you can use your iPhone to listen. So the mic on your iPhone is going to pick up sound and transmit it here. But it can process it a little bit to make it easier to hear things. So let's set it up here by going into Settings on our iPhone. And then you would think you would go to Accessibility to turn this on. But in fact that's not where you look. You look in Control Center. and In Control Center you want to make sure you add Hearing to the top part. The Active Included Controls. So if you find Hearing down here just click the Plus button to move it up here. Now you can get to this by going to Control Center. I'm going to swipe down for the upper right hand corner and you can see the Hearing icon there. Click that and you may find that Background Sounds, if you're using that, also appears here but you've got Live Listen. So to turn it on just click here and it turns it on. And you can see now the input coming in here. It will tell you if the sound level is too high. And it's easy to turn it off as well. Click there and you can see now it's off. And basically what's happening is the iPhone is trying to listen for voices and it's amplifying those voices while trying to drown out background noise and other distractions. So it makes it easier to hear people. Kind of like a hearing aid. But it's never going to be quite as good as an actual hearing aid which you have to spend a lot of money for and has to be customized to fit your exact needs. But there are a couple of other interesting ways to use this. Because unlike a hearing aid your iPhone doesn't have to be at the same place as your AirPods. You can actually put the iPhone somewhere else. So for instance if you're having trouble hearing a television and you'd rather not turn the volume up too high you could place your iPhone near the TV or maybe point the microphone directly at the speaker on the TV to get better sound into your AirPods. The same thing with a conversation. You might find that maybe you're sitting on one part of a room and most of the conversation is going on in another part of the room. You can always put your iPhone down near where the people are talking so you can hear them clearer while you sit somewhere else. Of course you could use this as kind of a baby monitor or a spying device by placing your iPhone in one location and then within the range of the AirPods sitting in another room and listening in. It could be useful for say listening for things like an oven or a dryer indicating that it's done while you go into another room. Or for instance if you need to run into the other room for some reason and you want to keep listening to the TV while maybe other people are there in the room watching it you could still get the audio even while you're in another room. Another use is if you're at a meeting or conference and you find you're having trouble hearing the speaker. You can point your iPhone perhaps at one of the speakers there or directly at the person talking and may find you can hear them a little bit better than listening without it. So there's all sorts of little interesting uses like that. And I should point out here in case you didn't know that the microphone on your iPhone is right here along the bottom. So what you want to do is point the bottom of your iPhone towards the TV or the person speaking to get the best sound from them. So if you have AirPods or some of those Beats headphones give this a try to see what it's like. You may be surprised at how well sound comes through and how it may improve your chances to participate in conversations if your hearing isn't that good. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.